Science. Exploring the seas and the oceans like no other vessel before it, the Sea Orbiter plans to drift around the world propelled by sea and ocean currents, allowing continuous 360-degree observation of the aquatic world. The journey will be the longest period humans have ever spent under the sea. The aim is to research marine ecosystems and understand climate change better, and also to educate future generations on the importance of the marine world. Rather fittingly, the headquarters of the Sea Orbiter is floating on the River Seine in Paris, France. The man behind the project is French architect Jacques Rougerie, who has had a lifelong fascination with the aquatic universe. There's everything to explore and discover under the sea. Most simply, we have to understand the biodiversity of our seas, migration patterns, and the food of the future, the pharmacology of the future, and all the energy that we can harness, the renewable energy from the oceans that we can use. It's the blue economy of tomorrow. The Sea Orbiter will have a crew of 18, including a team of divers living beneath the surface of the ocean in a pressurized module with continuous access to the sea. The Sea Orbiter will be 51 meters tall. A miniature version has been tested for seaworthiness and safety at one of Europe's largest simulation laboratories, Marintech in Norway. They tested and validated this model. They also optimized the floater to give the vessel greater stability. Some of the crew are going to live in saturation, which means that we will equalize the air pressure with the water pressure so they can go out into the sea as many times as they want to, practically whatever the weather conditions are above the surface. There is an enthusiastic team dedicated to the Sea Orbiter project. They hope that the high-tech research and analytical facilities on board, as well as communication devices linked to terrestrial research centers, will enable them to make new discoveries. Among the aims is a better understanding of the effects of climate change. The ocean is the powerhouse of the planet. It regulates our climate through water-atmosphere interface exchanges. Sea Orbiter will be at this interface and will be able to analyze all the parameters constantly, as well as analyzing climatic changes as they happen. For the moment, the Sea Orbiter is only a computer graphic. But if all goes to plan, construction is due to begin next year. Once completed, it will be extensively tested in the Mediterranean, and sometime in 2014, the Sea Orbiter will be launched into the Gulf Stream and cast adrift for a number of years. My biggest dream for the Sea Orbiter, and God knows I have dreams, but this is a magnificent dream. With the Sea Orbiter, we managed to shock young people into understanding that they have a future. We want to create vocations. We want young people to build their own futures. We want them to understand that the ocean is one of the major elements in the destiny of future civilizations.